I have previously taken off these two corners ready to reseal they were in a bad way they <laughs> they basically were letting in a lot of water it's mainly around this area that's nowhere near sitting it's got some old rivets still sitting in there someone also pointed out that I should replace this section same on this side it's definitely they're not joined or linked at all you can see the water's been definitely coming in here and these are the cords for the backlights coming through here I feel like it used to be behind this tape Now it's got more. Sealant? Yeah, that's a decent amount of sealant. <laughs> I can see gaps. See, there's no sealant there at all. There's no sealant there either. Right. Hayden, I've got a leg down. Okay. Well, this this black sealant really makes it look a lot messier, a lot messier. But we've actually run out of screws, so we don't have enough for the other corner. So we're on to another job. I'll go and get the, the screws from the hardware store on my next visit into town. Bit more space to move around in there. Another job I've got is thinking about the wiring. What I want to really avoid doing is adding any more holes. There's already been quite a few holes cut into the framing for the wiring, so I'm just trying to avoid adding any more. So I bought some string, so my plan is just to string, put string where I think the wiring should go and then get Hayden's opinion. I'm planning to have the battery and the inverter under the seat in this corner. I'm trying to keep this set up super simple. Most of it's going to be 12 volt and then all these lights can go straight from the battery. It doesn't have to go through an inverter. It doesn't need to have a proper electrician to do this stage. There's a little bit that I will need to get an electrician to do because I want two proper 240 volt plugs to charge like my laptop and other power hungry uh, items. I've got a power line running under the caravan from the battery up through the floor here. I'll have to drill a hole and there's going to be a wall here. So it's going to be on the exterior. The power cord's going to go up the wall and then in here and then this is going to be uh, where the power splits off into its different wires. I've just gone and forgotten the name. What was that called? Anyway, I'm going to have a light switch here with two switches. One for the awning light and then one for a light here. Because what I learned with my UK caravan is I hate going into my dark caravan and then pitch black trying to reach up finding a tiny little light switch around the base of a light. Previous owner has already made a hole in the wood there and a hole in the wood here. And the light will come over the dining area. The wall for the toilet 
foil it will be here, double bed, two bedside reading lights. Tricky part is, I thought there's a bit of metal here. I think we could drill through the metal. The trickiest one would probably be the extractor fan, but I don't even want to put it in yet. I just want to have the wire there ready to go if I decide I do want an extractor fan. There's also the toilet light. Seriously finding this so helpful just to kind of wrap my head around the power. One uncertainty I have right now is that's one, two, three, four, five different cords, power cords, going into this area. Now I'm curious to get Hayden's opinion, particularly on this area, the messy area. So, <laughs> Hayden can't quite stand up in this caravan. <laughs> Hi. <sighs> Downside of being tall. And then I don't know if, if I need all of these, because the, that would then take up a lot of space up here, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. My other idea is to have the move the sub main up to here and then it'd just be one big cord. Oh uh, yeah. There's a there's a wall here, eh? Yes. I'm getting an education. We could make use of the toilet wall and hide all the power cords in there. This could all go here. So you're saying that um sub main would sit in here? Because that would be uh yeah. You walk heavy like that. I feel like I want to redo this. So this is my representation of the wall. So there's going to be a sub main in here, in between the two. A light switch here. I think that'll be much tidier. It's a good feeling to kind of... I feel like I'm kind of understanding this bit. Hold the air. Oh, there is Hold a the hole there. Hold the air. This is the wall and then you're out. Yep, that's the solution. So that corner reading light is now going a different way along the front to the battery. I was thinking the front lining could be the first piece to go on. But now I just need to do that one wire first. Very first green seedling poking through. Oh, that's exciting. Now it makes me want to check the other seeds. Not yet, not yet. Oh, what's this? <gasps> There's one there. Look how tiny it is. Hayden's off for a few days. It's always good to have a day to think about things, isn't it? Like last night I realised I haven't considered where the solar power cable is going to come down. And then I was thinking the extractor fan I might shift it. Extractor fan could go here instead. Really? I've actually got a list of little jobs I want to get done today. And one of them is just to cut away a little bit of the wood here, just so this wiring can go through. Because I've added some new wood, it no longer has this cutout. It doesn't need to be too deep, really. Oh, I need some glasses, don't I? <laughs> I'd really forgotten how loud this tool actually is. Next little job is I want to just get rid of a little bit of this. Oh, okay, solution. <laughs> just whack it with the hammer a bit. Because that was poking out, which wouldn't
wouldn't be very good for when I put the lighting on. Okay, next task. <laughs> Other jobs I want to do is like just tidying up the surfaces, taking out nails. I just want to sand this ledge because this will be exposed and it's like the roughest surface. I got distracted. When the sand of battery died, I started you playing with this again. It's quite a fun tool. I've ended up just trying to smooth all the bumps on the ground. I find it much more enjoyable than the sander. Another item on my to-do list is add the bracing for the fan. I happen to have a fan uh, in the UK caravan, but you know, it kind of needs a bit of love. But I thought I could use it for the placement. silly. That's the flat way. It should be like that. Oh, so annoying. It's like two mil too. <laughs> <sighs> I cheated. I just cut out another bit. It's now not the strongest, but I just kind of want to get this done. this in is for the shower wall. It's getting too hot. It's absolutely boiling in here now. And I also really want to thank John, Robert, Alan and Carrie for contributing towards some sealant. I need so much of that stuff, don't I? I feel like I should start sanding the exterior of Vinny, getting it ready to paint. It's just, I feel like I've done enough sanding <laughs> on this project already. I'm kind of over sanding. Downside of that battery operator sander as it races through the batteries. So I've just turned on the generator, just to charge a couple of the batteries so I can carry on. Interesting that you're so close to the surface when you're sanding, you notice all the little mistakes and, and quirks. So I've seen that there's a couple of small dents at the front. Don't know if they're bad enough to do anything about. I have seen that there was an old caravan sign in the corner, which is kind of cool. And I saw there is a slight hole near the front, just in the aluminium. So that was good to spot. I'll be filling that one in. I think the sand is on fire. The sander is on fire. There's this weird smell, it didn't smell electrical, it was just a strange smell. And then it just stopped working and then I noticed that, um, yeah, some smoke was coming out of it. Just might not sand anymore today. <laughs> I guess I could carry on in the caravan now or I could go into town. 